Hello everyone, so today I have eight new cute and easy hairstyles that I'm recreating from old Japanese fashion magazines. These are simple, easy to do, and wearable for all seasons. And as promised, this is the second video that I'm doing like this. If you haven't seen the first one already, I will leave it linked up in the top right hand corner. And with that, let's get started. So to start off, I've already curled my hair into some loose waves and for some of these hairstyles, it's really helpful if you have your hair curled in opposite directions. I've curled all of my hair in the same direction, all away from my face. So for this first hairstyle, I'm going to pull over my hair into a side part, leaving out my bangs. And then starting with a small piece of hair nearby the bangs, I'm just starting to twist this away from my face. And every few twists, I'm grabbing more hair from the back and I'm adding that to my twist and I'm continuing until I've twisted all of the top section of my hair. Then I'm just taking my fingers to lightly pull out the hair to give it a little bit more volume and to make it look loose and natural. So right at the top of my ear, I'm taking the twist and I'm joining in a little bit more hair from the sides so that I have some hair to anchor the braid. Because if I just started braiding this little twist, there is no hair to anchor it in place so it'll just start unraveling immediately. So you want to incorporate a little bit of hair from the side, just enough so that you have something to keep the braid in place. And then from then on, I'm just simply braiding with a three strand braid and I'm just fluffing around the top and also the braid by tugging at the sides gently to give it a little bit more volume and I didn't braid all the way down because I wanted to leave some of the waves out at the bottom so I think I'm stopping at around like four inches away from the end and then one of my favorite things to do recently to finish off any hairstyle is to cover the elastic with a hair claw. I'm just clipping this to the top to finish off this hairstyle. And that's it for this first hairstyle. This is one of my favorite hairstyles, which is why I put it at the front because it is so romantic and it is so easy to do. It is such a versatile look. You can wear this with long or short hair or with straight or curled hair. For the second hairstyle, it definitely helps to have some loose waves in. So I'm splitting my hair straight down the center and I am braiding the loosest three strand braid possible. And I'm tying it off at the end with an elastic. These braids are so loose that I only have about like three braids in on each side. I was so inspired by this photo in this magazine in particular because I love how she has these little like floral decorations in her hair. And it sort of reminded me that I have been collecting these dried flowers it's super easy to dry your own flowers and you just want to tie them up with some string and hang them upside down and let them dry for like a week or two so I have some baby's breath and I also have some of these uh, I think these are called spray roses it's really easy to just snap them off because they're dried and I went with a pattern of alternating between the baby's breath and also the spray roses and I'm just inserting this between each of the braided segments. I know decorating your hair in this way is not the most wearable thing in the world because obviously you don't expect this to last an entire day but I do think that this hairstyle is so cute and so inspiring even if you just want to take some photos. I think that this is a really creative way to dress up a hairstyle but regardless without the dried flowers I still do think that the hairstyle on its own is still really cute. I have been really obsessed with cottagecore. I think you guys can tell by how my Instagram feed it has been looking lately. So this hairstyle just like really captured my heart and I think it looks so romantic and so dreamy and so special. And you can do so many different color combinations with different types of flowers. For our next hairstyle, this one really benefits from having your hair curled entirely in two separate directions. So taking half of my hair, I am starting at the top and I'm starting to twist my hair away from my face with a small section and every couple of twists, I'm adding more hair from the back until I reach the bottom of my hair and everything is all twisted in one direction away from my face. And then afterwards, I'm just using my fingers to lightly pull at each direction of the braid to loosen it up and really make it super fluffy and loose. I'm 
I'm tying it off with an elastic at the bottom. I really regret using a green elastic because you could see it peeking out a little bit. So after tying off my hair at the bottom, I am twisting it away from my face in the direction that I twirled the hair and I'm twisting it into a very, very loose low bun. And then taking bobby pins, I used about four and I inserted them in each direction of the bun and it gave me a super secure hold. Then I'm just repeating this on the other side. I chose to not use hairspray for this one because I did like how it looks a little bit messy and a little bit lived in and I do like the little hairs that are sticking out. From the back, you can see how romantic this hairstyle is. It's actually ridiculous considering how easy it was to do. For our next hairstyle, you just need any sort of fabric, whether it's a sash or a bandana. I'm using a sash that I took from one of my sun hats, and I am just wrapping this behind my head and tying it off in the front with a little bow. Then I'm taking each side of my hair and using the fabric in the back as sort of a hold to keep my hair up, I'm starting to braid my hair from a mid ponytail length. And I think that this is actually a really genius way to do some braided pigtails because usually I would have to tie my hair off with several elastics to keep my ponytail in place and then I would braid it and then I would use more elastics to secure it at the bottom. And it would kind of hurt my head throughout the day. But with this method of using a fabric fabric to hold your hair up in the back. This is actually insanely comfortable. I can see myself wearing this like all the time because it really loosens up the pressure from having all of your hair tied up. And that's it for this hairstyle. It's super easy, but more than anything, the technique of using fabric to hold up your pigtails is insanely genius. And I really loved the contrast between the blue and my orange hair. So I feel like you can really make a statement with whatever type of hair accessory that you choose to use. For our next hairstyle, I'm simply doing some small French braids on each side of my hair. I'm using an elastic to temporarily secure one of them into a low pigtail. And then once I have my two small French braids, I'm taking all of my hair into one side and I'm joining them together and then I'm finishing off with a regular three strand braid. And then because I felt like it was a little bit empty on the side of my head, I chose to use an oversized lace fabric bow and I felt like this helped to really balance out the braid because it was kind of bottom heavy with all of the volume of my hair in one place. I feel like when it comes to braids, I never just do a simple side braid. So I feel like this does really change things up and to add two braids down the side also gives it a really nice touch. For our next hairstyle, I'm starting off with two small French braids and I'm trying to braid this towards the back of my head so that the sides of my hair at my temple is clear. And then once I braid down to the nape of my neck, I am gathering all of my hair on one side and I'm securing it into two low pigtails. The point of this look is using colored bobby pins to create your own little hair accessory, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. So I'm taking three different colors, the pink, the green, and the yellow, and I'm just pinning it into place where the bobby pins are touching each other so that it creates a triangle. This is a really simple way to dress up any sort of hairstyle. I just think the idea of using tricolored bobby pins to create a triangle to make your own accessory is really innovative. For our next hairstyle, I'm gathering all of my hair into a high ponytail. Taking a little piece of hair, I'm wrapping it around to hide the elastic and then I'm bobby pinning it in place. Then I'm splitting all of my hair in my ponytail into two sections, 
Taking the top piece, I'm using an elastic and I'm tying this about an inch away from the base. Then I'm using my finger to sort of create a little slit in the center and I'm pulling through the bottom part of the ponytail up and over through our top ponytail. Then afterwards, I'm tightening the elastic a little bit. It's a little bit confusing, but I'm going to repeat this several times so you guys can sort of get an idea of what I'm doing. Again, taking the top ponytail, I'm taking a clear elastic, tying this an inch away from the base and then I am creating a little slit and then taking the bottom ponytail, I am looping this through and out the top ponytail and then I am tightening it in place. And then I'm just going to repeat this several times until I get to the bottom of my ponytail. and I use a little bit of hairspray to smooth down my flyaways at the top of my ponytail. This hairstyle does take a little bit more time and a little bit more practice to do, but at the end of it, you create a really interesting looking braid. And depending on how you want to dress it up, you can either have it look cool and edgy or a little bit more cute as well. Then for our last hairstyle, I saved the simplest for the last, but I definitely think this is a super cute one. I'm simply gathering both sides of my hair into two pigtails, and then I'm splitting my bang straight down the center, and I'm clipping each side away with some oversized matching hair clips. And that's actually it for this hairstyle. I chose to do this one in this video because I never wear my hair straight down the center. So I usually wouldn't really do a hairstyle like this, but I feel like this is such an easy, simple way to dress up a hairstyle and to make it look so cute. And you definitely have like an infinite amount of ways to style this hairstyle depending on the types of hair clips that you have. So just have fun with it. So that's it for these eight easy and super cute hairstyles that I have from old Japanese fashion magazines. So again, if you enjoy seeing this type of content from magazines, please let me know so that I can continue to create more and hopefully more frequently as well because literally I have so many magazines, I will never run out of content. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again next week.